Welcome! Today I'd like to show you the Hex Inverter Electronic Mutant Clap, a 13 HP clap module with a 909 style linear feedback shift register noise oscillator and lots of possibilities to shape and modulate the sound. Signals with one volt or above will trigger the clap sound. The drive control allows you to overdrive the signal output from clean to harsh. With the sustain control you can alter the volume shape of the clap sound. Turned full clockwise the sound will stay on indefinitely. A bandpass filter can be switched off or on and is controlled with the cut-off knob. With the pitch control you can adjust the frequency of the noise oscillator. The CV input can be fed with voltages as well as audio rate signals. The external in overrides the internal oscillator, so each sound source can be used to shape the clap. With nothing patched in, the knob controls the volume of the internal sound source. The mutant clap can simulate a reverb, utilizing a second sound layer under the main clap. 
The reverb effect is bypassed with the switch in the middle position. In the upper position, the reverb sound comes from the internal sound source, taken before the filter. In the lower position, the reverb comes from the external sound source taken after the filter. If nothing is patched in the external input, again the internal oscillator is used. The reverb decay parameter can be voltage controlled. The accent input accepts 0 to 5 volts signals, which will vary the volume of the clap sound. In addition, the module offers two direct VCO outputs. The noise output is taken directly from the LFSR noise oscillator, while the filter output is taken from after the bandpass filter.
it's even possible to let the module self-cycle. Turning the pitch lower than audio rate gives the opportunity for random self-triggering. I like the Mutant Clap for its classic, punchy sound, as well as for the many possibilities to modulate and use it more subtle or even experimental. The noise VCO outputs prove to be a very useful addition in various situations, and the big knobs are tweaking friendly and make the module a nice performance tool. That's it for today. I hope you found this useful and to see you around next time. Take care.